All right, welcome back, guys. We've got more Dragon's Dogma 2 for you today. So, we're questing after these goblins that have been attacking villages and causing all sorts of havoc. And on the way, we've run into crazy quest after crazy adventure. In this episode, we're finally going to get up to one of these guys. Vega. It says there's a chest over here. Okay, we got that chest already. We've got a dozen seeker tokens. We wrote a griffin. Here's another one of these. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. So we see if to be found while we're here. Oh no, this is just a regular rift stone. I couldn't tell the difference between this one and I forgot. By the way, the way we enter the rift stone and the rift is so cool in this game. I made a short about it, about how much cooler it is than uh, Dragon's Dogma 1. Oh, look at this. We can buy some of these guys. Let's get Lenora for a. Oh no, let's get Leela for 553. I am attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. Moonwaters is level 9. Yeah, Kane, you gotta go. You're level 7, buddy. I should have taken all of Kane's items first, but it's okay. I don't care if he goes back with all that stuff. Also, we're gonna give him something really good. Not a Seeker's token. Shield of Vernworth. Should we give him that? At least I go knowing I fought to the best of my ability. You did great, Kane. You're awesome, man. If ever you need of an ear to listen, look at how big she is. To ask. And I'm still not totally uh, keyed in on the depth of everything here with the pawns. Wow, level 18. See, now I got my rift crystals, my realm crystals from the um, bonus pack that I purchased, but I did not get any of my weapons or anything like that. We're gonna spend another 500 on this chick, Enol. Tis a pleasure to meet you. Let's switch her out. With our little girl right there. We're gonna give you something special too, because you were awesome. I don't want to give that up. I like that. I want to use that eventually. Hmm. I don't know what to give her. That's really good. I'll give her these explosive arrows. Tis a pity we must part. I try to give her something to use, and that's cool. We can begin formulating a strategy. All right, we got two awesome, she's huge too. We got two giants with us now. All right. A troubling rumor has reached my ears and me thinks I ought to share it. What is it? It is said there is an illness Bors can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around me. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control and in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. Well, look at her, she knows. Can that really be true? I don't like the sound of it at all. Isn't that cool? They're having a conversation about how they've heard about a Take disease this. that affects them. It's something I found. I wanted you to have it. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll... Off we go, then. There are beasts to be... What, did you give me the thing? No, he didn't give it to me. You're like to grow overburdened if you keep picking yeah. up every little trinket you find. Look at that, she knows where to go because she's done this before. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to Obtain somewhere nearby? Location of According to the guild head, you will need to procure your own weapon if you wish to register as either a sorcerer. Or a warrior. Yeah, that's cool. But we don't want to do that one right now. We're doing monster, monster calling. <laughs> okay, we're destroying these guys. Real 
What is that? What is this thing? Somebody cast a really cool spell of protection on me? I think that thing like deflects an attack. Or there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll oh. find a use for it, I'm sure. I heard something. Oh, it's just a pig. I'm sorry, piggy. <laughs> more here than a pig, though. Oh, they just destroyed that little encampment. Look at that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, no. What's going on here? We're in a fight with something burly? What's going on here? Okay, so the little camp is right up here. Let's get this treasure chest. Take care of these goblins. Ah. Not strong, not, not agile enough to jump all the way up there. Whoa. What are you guys doing? Hail. Hail. I've got wares of every ill. A wandering merchant. Usually, wandering merchants have really good stuff. Wakestone shard. Yep. Give me that. Got a wake stone. Perfect. Costs a lot, though. It's 5,000. But I buy those every time I see them. Rattler rock scale. Looks like he's got upgrade materials. Upgrade mats. That's all he's got. It isn't an easy life, but I enjoy the travel. Okay, well, I'm glad you do. <laughs> Let's keep all this stuff for now. I want to stick it all in my inventory till I have like a long. massive supply, and that way I can always have enough our upgrade mats. And our purses far lighter. Spending so freely offers a unique sort of joy. We're gonna make camp here. Let's keep. Oh no, this is the save the game. We might do it again soon. And then we'll go attack these goblins. Although I have a feeling we're just going to absolutely destroy them. So that's really cool. Usually in the last Dragon's Dogma, if the pawns were like three or four levels ahead, you could afford them. But any more than that, if they're like five or six levels or even ten, there's no way you're going to afford them. They were so expensive. We go then. That was pretty affordable, I thought. I trust. Yeah. Don't trust the autosave, guys. I know a lot of people have been complaining about only having one save file. I actually think that's one of the when we need the most. cool things about Dragon's Dogma. Oh, I found some silver ore. Nice, now we can complete that quest. Bring Daphne the silver ore. Anywho, I think it's a good thing to only have one save file because it really makes you think in another dimension. Like, okay, I've got to make sure that I save at the right time. i got to make sure that I don't screw this up. If I do screw this up, there's no going back. There were times in Dragon's Dog with the original where I would just exit out of the game after I died, where I did something really bad because it was going to auto-save when it loaded. And so just to stop the auto-save from overriding my old save, I'm going to exit the game. You've been doused in oil! It reminds me of the 1990s, to be honest. Is it weird? Oh, the mining stuff. Not going to work. Okay. Did you guys take that harpy out? Come on. Okay, we got him. Back to what we're trying to do here. We're getting up, getting this treasure chest. Pray, follow me. Uh, I will in a minute. I want this treasure chest. Come on. Come on, you're far through girl, but you can't get up on this rock. There you go. There you go. Savagery extract. That sounds like a really cool item. 
a concoction of natural medicines fortified with magic. Drink it to boost your stamina and magic for a period of time. So it's a double boost to stamina and magic. I fear our equipment may rust in these conditions. Will it? Will be I didn't know it could do that. Worth it in the end if we return with a pack full of treasure. Okay, here we go. Let's assault the line here. You must focus on fighting the two. Whatever I just get it. See him throw his torch at me. Fear not. Ready? I got a couple of debilitations. I don't know which ones they are. Oh, we're gonna mob these guys. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. Kick their ass. Copper ore, silver ore. You're a big gal, you can carry a ton of stuff. Now, in the first game, that actually mattered, too. The bigger you were, the more you could carry, and the farther you could walk faster. Like, your stride was much bigger if you were a taller character. But also, there were spots you couldn't go as a tall character in original Dragon's Dogma. Tunnels you couldn't go down, shortcuts you couldn't take. You had to be a shorter character. So it was cool how they used actual dimensions like that. Now, I have to look and see if there is a way to back this camera up. Camera distance. Sliding the cursor to the right pulls the camera further away from the player. Look at all these adjustments. I will say this, that Capcom did an amazing job on the accessibility and interface here with all the options you have to adjust everything. Select whether to use the motion sensor function when aiming a bow or other weapon. So that is like lock on, I guess. Look at that, there we go, much better. Much better. I love that. Because now the camera is not going to do so much jank. Our character has a much much greater distance between itself and the camera to do stuff, like turn around, pivot. So it shouldn't swirl around as much as it was. Don't that lens before his two legs. I grab your weapon and magical boom. sword guys that is sick so now we can have the vocation of a warrior whoops no a common iron greatsword sturdy and easily handled is off the first hilt grasp by warriors in training nice very nice because for some reason I want to swing a big sword in this this game just makes me want to swing a big sword one never can have too many of these these tin sound extract. Put them to use. Oh, there's a big creature in here. I felt my controller vibrate and heard something growl. Forgive me, but I cannot guide you from here. Okay. Well then, watch out and let me go. Nought feels quite so wasteful as coming upon a fine piece of equipment after purchasing the very same item. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Okay, we still need the camera to be farther away, I think. I'm gonna max that out. Much better. This is like the original Dragon's Dog right here. I don't know what those things are all about. Now I realize. 
realize that that shadow cloak move is not very useful when you're with a party, but it's more useful by itself. So I'm probably going to switch it out with something else. Ranger's tights. Well, that's a huge upgrade, guys. Look at that. And they look sick, too. Look at the side stitching on them. Leg armor fashioned from supple fabric that stretches to accommodate the wearer. Mass signs of wear and tear. Let's equip it. All right, all right. That was a huge upgrade. Holy smokes. And we had upgraded those uh, pants one time already, too. Explosive arrows. The game keeps giving us those. There are rare materials to be found here. Oh, events. you know why, guys? Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? Oh, I was thinking there was a piece of wall here that could be destroyed. So they put those arrows right there. And these barrels right here. Oh, I was wrong about that one. Nope, we go down here. I was wrong. No, that happened once, and so now I'm like on the lookout for like every false wall everywhere. I gotta go back and watch the video. I still haven't. I've still just been playing. Where that false wall was, they destroyed with the ice. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, okay. What's this? Staring a result. Shall we report? The Grievous Horns is a great arch staff. Now we can be a sorcerer too, guys. Now this was in the original Dragon's Dogma. An arch staff of bronze brought to resemble horns, the pointed tips readily harness magic, granting even novices a boost in magical potential. Mm, those are sick. All right. Now we can be a sorcerer. Mm, figure there would have been a token up here, but nope. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. Give it to me. 51 experience, 20 DEP. I oh, don't know. Huh. That happened twice. I don't know what that was all about. So. Interesting. Last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Our task is complete. Oh, cool. We rid the oh, mine like of them. That. Three thousand gold. That's huge. Let us proceed to the next location. Okay. Cool. Shall I lead you to the location nearest here? Oh, I thought we got rid of all the goblins. Look at this. There's some right here. We got to make that. I don't know about that. Yeah, when I want to see a quest complete, I want all the goblins cleared out. I don't want a certain amount of goblins in a certain area. It's like we're still in the mine, aren't we? Ooh, what's over here? There's a sleep. Use these flames to slight our enemies. Yeah, okay. 300 experience is huge. We achieved Ring of cooling. A ring that grants power to the wearer whose spirit resonates with its magic reduces damage taken from fire attacks. Nice. Okay, cool. Synchronicity. I'll just think what we can achieve. Ring of achieve cooling is pretty much in the further. We got 400 gold off that guy. I forget to search the body. Truly, there are secrets around every corner. <laughs> Pray keep your wits about you. We needn't go barging in. Well, I think right now we're just trying to barge on out. It's auto-saving. Maybe the entrance is coming up here pretty soon. Oh god, we can destroy these ones.
apples, goblin horns, all sorts of goodies. Oh god, watch out! Watch out! Get him! No. <laughs> Knock that one down? Anywhere. Can we just do that? Wear every shadow. And mind the ceiling. Be sure to keep your wits about you. I guess if you're like an archer, you can sit back and shoot those legs and knock those uh, bricks down, or those giant boulders down. Look at that. That's cool. I have broken half right there. Heal my stamina. I kind of like having my daggers out and like having them lit on fire because it adds a little more light. No seekers tokens here. Hold fast, Arisen. I will hold fast. How about not? How about we just use something to recover some stamina? We're with you in but a moment. How deep is this cavern? Oh, okay, we found our way out. Pretty sure, because we've been through this passage before. Now let's make sure it's the way out. Yeah, it's the way out. That was cool, guys. Not too much deviation in the pathway in here, but it was a really cool battle. Really cool cave. Had some nice rewards. A couple of little side passages. I'm sure I didn't get all of it. Might even have been a hidden wall in there somewhere that I didn't see. Overall, excellent. If most of them are like that, we'll have lots of fun. Much. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. Cool. Full glad I am. Oh shit, that guy's right up there. Yeah, let's go rest our campfire again. Take their toll on the spirit. I knew it to be so. Yeah, you could turn the pawns off and stop them from talking too much, but I actually like it. Because they drop little hints of knowledge and stuff in their own little side story. Okay, I think we're going to go try to fight that griffin next episode, guys. Let's make camp here. And we're going to get after the great griffin. But we have to remember, if we grab onto him, we got to let him go. We can't hold onto him. Our adventure continues. Come. We've much to be getting on with. Yeah. A new day, a new perspective. All right, guys. Channel's game on. We just keep on gaming on. I'm lucky. We'll see you in the next episode where we take on the Griffin. Peace.